George, do you have 401 ready yet? I'm just getting stuff for the couch ready. For the couch? We need to get the video done. I don't have a cow, man. But everybody's waiting for us to finish up the Coloring Book SVG series. We are, and we're finishing it with The Simpsons. Wow. Welcome to Coloring Book SVG 401 by Crafts by Two. I'm Ken. And I'm George. And in this episode, George is going to be talking about... The Simpsons. I'm going to show you how I took a little problem that we had with the Simpsons SVG and how I fixed it through Inkscape instead of using something like GIMP that Ken showed you about in his how-to tip before. These techniques are a little bit more advanced, but you should have no trouble with them at all. So there we have the image colored in. The things that I colored in in purple are just there to remind me to go back and I need to exclude those. But the problem that we have is Homer's pants and shirt and the inside of the popcorn bucket are all one piece. So you could go and use GIMP on the original image like Ken showed you, or you could do it here in Inkscape, which seems a little bit more complicated, but really isn't. You just need to know how to do it and do it right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take Homer's shirt and make a duplicate of it. So if you select the node tool. So you're going to select the piece that's all one, his pants, shirt, and inside of the bucket. Right click and say duplicate. Then we're going to select the node tool. And as you can see, everything is highlighted. We're going to change the color. I find it easier to do that. That way you know what you're editing. Let's zoom in a little bit. And with the node select tool, you're going to go through and you're going to delete the nodes that you don't need. Remember, if you make a mistake and delete a lot, you just control Z and undo your mistake. Let's zoom in closer. because we want to get rid of all the nodes that are on the other side of the black line. So there, if we zoom out, his pants, they're almost the right color. If we change them to blue, it's fixed. If we click off of them, now it would cut this piece and you could lay it over the white piece. But that's kind of a waste of paper if you ask me. So let's get rid of the white piece under it. So you can come in, select your piece, you can select your nodes and use the handles to realign things if you want. Then you're going to come out, zoom out a little bit. If you select the tool, the select tool and move the pants around you see the white underneath then we're just going to undo to move it back we're going to right click and say duplicate you have it selected so hold down the shift key and select the shirt which selects the shirt the inside of the popcorn bucket and the pants then we're going to path and exclude so now if you click on the pants and move them there's nothing underneath but the black background. Do control Z to undo and move the pants back. Now Homer's shirt should be white, but the inside of the popcorn bucket shouldn't. You could leave it white if you wanted to, but I don't think I want to. I want to change the color. So once again, 
we right click on the shirt and say duplicate. Change it to a different color. I'm going to choose red. Select the node select tool. Zoom in and select all the nodes that are outside the edge of the popcorn bucket. Oops, I grabbed the handle, but that's okay. Remember, we only want the nodes on the inside of the bucket, not on the outside. So there we are. As you can see, though, if you move the handles around, sometimes nodes can do strange things. Oops, sorry about that. We're zoomed in a little too close. If they overlap with themselves, it'll turn white. So we have to change that. We just have to change the node and bring it in closer. So then if you come in here, you can probably delete this one. And this will make, oops, nope, that's not it. See, not even we know everything. Oops. So let's select it. Why is George having a hard time? Well, I thought that this was the node, or sorry, that this was the handle for this circle, but it's not. It's for the outside of the popcorn. This handle is way over here. So if I select this, I can decrease the size of this. And then with this, I can decrease the size of this. And with this, I can make it more round. So if you're happy with that, what you can do is right click, duplicate, Select the shirt because the shirt is all one layer with the inside of the popcorn bucket and the shirt. Then we're going to say path, exclusion, select the select tool again, move the inside of the popcorn bucket, ta-da! There you go. Now you can go down, a couple layers, oops. Come back up, and then you have the detail of the inside of the popcorn bucket there. I hope that made sense. So the inside of the popcorn bucket has detail on it that we want to get rid of. So you select it, select the inside of the popcorn bucket, select path, and exclude. Remember my trick about selecting the background? Select the background, change it to a color, and that way you can see the things that you haven't yet excluded. Now, as you can see, I forgot a lot, things that I didn't color in purple. So let's fast forward through them to save us some time. So one thing that you can also do is if you move the pants, see how you have the white? That'll be a really small paper cup. Let's kind of get rid of that. Let's undo to move the pants back. Click on the black outline. Bring it to the front. And then you can stretch the nodes. So it's going to give this white piece a nice smooth edge as it continues. So one of the things that we do is click on this and say object, or sorry, path, exclusion. Now if you zoom in, it left behind some remnants, things that were overlapping. 
select the node tool and just go in and clean them up. Anything that leaves a long handle like this is an orphan item, so you want to delete it. Now if you select the node, you can move the line so you can see the background a bit better. Let's select the background and make it black again. Does that look natural? Maybe we could play with it a little bit more. We could probably get rid of this node. Then back out some. Click off of it. This node right here looks a little pointy. Maybe we can get rid of it. Hmm, that red line keeps popping up. That means to me that there's an orphan node in there someplace. So let's zoom in. There it is. It's part of the white shirt. So let's get rid of it. And actually getting rid of that node on the blue part of the pants kind of made the curve a lot more smooth. Now you can do the same thing with the inside of the popcorn bucket. You can come in. Let's zoom in closer. See the white that we would have to deal with? Let's click these nodes and delete them. Oops. Back out a little bit. Looks like there's multiple nodes here to me. So I got rid of them. We can come in here. Probably get rid of this node. Maybe even this node. Let's try. Oop. So here's the handle. Let's come back here. Where'd the handle go? There it is. Don't really want to change the shape that much. Mm, I think we might have changed the shape a little too much. So let's just undo. Let's zoom back in. Let's try to make the curve here look a little bit more natural. That's better. Now if we select on just the black, it's easier to do at the edge. Change it to a color that you're not using. Yep, that's all black now. These will all be separate pieces and none of the pieces overlap. Let's make them black again. Ta-da! Now I can cut this out. But when I cut it out, remember the popcorn pieces on the floor, they'll cut, but they won't be in the right position. So when you lay them out, make sure you put them as close or, or really wherever you want them to be in your picture. Including the one up here that Bart's throwing into the air. I think I'm going to change this color and make it orange. Now remember, oh, and I forgot this one over here. I wanted to delete that because I think the piece is going to be too small. So remember, whether you keep parts of the image or delete them like I did, make multiple layers or get rid of the layers with exclusion like I did and making duplicates of the image. It's all up to you and there is no wrong way to do it because you're always learning. And as you can see from what I just showed you, I'm not perfect either. 
So don't think that Ken and I get it right every time. There's been a lot of experimentation. Just remember, Inkscape has a multitude of undos. You can always go back. Don't let it intimidate you. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please just post them on our YouTube page under the video that you have questions or comments about. So that brings to close this episode of How To for Coloring Book SVGs. You've learned a lot. And just take your time. Don't let it overwhelm you. Because remember, you always have undo, and you can always come to our Facebook page or YouTube channel and ask us questions. Yep, we're glad to help where we can. So to put a capstone on the series, we're going to do a Google Hangout where people can come in and ask questions and maybe share your own art that you might be having trouble with and we can see what we can do to help out. We're going to do that next Wednesday, April 30th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll put a link down in the information for the video. So if you think that you can attend our Hangout, feel free to email us a picture that you're having trouble with so we can have it ready to go when you show up and we can show you how we would address the problem. And that email address will be down in the information below. And shown right here. Maybe more like about here. Or here. And then it's in front of our face. Or here. And don't forget to subscribe and share our videos with your friends. We're getting close to the 500 subscriber mark, and that means another giveaway. Yep. So thanks for watching. We appreciate you checking out our videos. And until next Tuesday, or probably sooner, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. So put it there.